Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about why your bounding box is so big in SketchUp. In case you're not aware, a bounding box is that's this thing over here, the blue lines around this cylinder. A bounding box is a visual representation of the space that is inside of a group or a component. You get one anytime you make a group or component. Uh, and generally what's supposed to happen is very similar to what's happening here. The bounding box is supposed to be right up against the edge of the geometry that's within it. So we're going to look at what's normal for a bounding box and then why sometimes your bounding box is way bigger than what seems to be inside that group or component. Let's hop in. All right, so like I said, this is kind of the, the standard. Not, I didn't do a cube because a cube obviously would fill the box exactly and it would just look like a selected box. So you can see here this empty space, the box, what happens is when the box is created, it aligns the edges to the global axis. So uh, these sides are parallel to green, these sides are parallel to red, the vertical sides are parallel to blue. You can see, you see how it works. So this, this is what a normal bounding box would look like. So this is a single element. If I came over here and I just grabbed, let's grab all of these cylinders right here. If I made this into a group, you'd see that, okay, that geometry goes to the outside edge of the furthest left, furthest right, furthest forward, furthest back, and that's how that would look. Um, if you did something like this, I'm going to undo that and I'm going to grab all of these top, up high, and low. Um, let's get over. Oh, we can grab Teddy too. Come on, come on and be in this with us. All right, so if I make a group now, you'll see that that bounding box goes the outside of Teddy's component to the edges here, to the top, to the bottom. So you can see, this is what a bounding box should look like. If I look at a bounding box, I should see where geometry goes up to the edge uh, on any side, right? So why every once in a while do I get something like this where I have a bounding box that shoots off somewhere that it looks like it just should not be? I've come up with three examples that I think are most common reasons that something like this would happen. All right, first one. So I have my bounding box. If I come in here, I see there's nothing here. If I do a select, I don't have like a little zero length line or anything like that down here. There's nothing there. If I do a group select of everything, it tells me I got 74 entities. That's probably the sides here, plus the uh, top and bottom, plus the edges. Yeah, that I don't remember exactly what it is, but that's, that's what's showing up there. So why does my bounding box come all the way out here? I'm gonna say nine times out of 10, this happens when you like you go download a model from 3D Warehouse or something like that, and you get a bounding box that's too big. I would say nine times out of 10, something like this is happening. And if you just go up to view and view hidden geometry, I bet nine times out of 10, there's some geometry. So in this case, there's an edge coming from bottom of my cylinder out here, and it's hidden. So if I was to select this hidden geometry, hit delete, look at my bounding box, goes back around the edge. Uh, let's turn off that hidden geometry, get a nice smooth cylinder back. And if I come out here, all right, so that looks like my control. This is my control over here. This is just, just the, the right way. So hidden geometry, thing number one to look for, toggle on hidden geometry, see if you see that. All right. Another thing that can happen, oh no, same case, right? So uh, something else that can happen, if hidden geometry doesn't show it, you might come over and check your tags. Because in this case, I have this little tag called I am hiding, and if I toggle on I am hiding, what do I see? Oh, there is a group with some edges going out here that is on a hidden tag. I can actually see this. I don't have to be in the group to edit it either. I can just tag, toggle that on and I can see that come back and forth. But as long as it's off, when I come into the group, my it's going to look like I have empty space in here. But if I turn this on, I find out, oh, nope, there's some geometry. If I delete that, it goes back. And I'm deleting it. I'm intentionally deleting it in an effort to get all of my uh, containers, all of my groups looking the same. You don't necessarily have to delete it. Just knowing why the uh, the bounds of the bounding box are what they are is maybe good enough in some cases. So um, maybe that, that little tail is supposed to be sticking out here. I don't want to delete it. That could happen too. Okay, so 
Pretty straightforward so far. Geometry stuff in there, that's hidden. And like I said, this happens all the time with, with models on 3D Warehouse because sometimes when people upload a 3D Warehouse, they don't spend the time cleaning their model up and getting it to the point where it's ready to be used. So this is, I mean, we've done videos on how to clean up your 3D Warehouse model over and over again, but there are things like, you know, extraneous geometry or imagery or whatever else inside of here that hasn't been purged needs to be purged. But turned off geometry, sometimes instead of deleting the geometry that people don't want, they'll just hide it, hide anything that's not part of the main model. Um, not the great way to do it, but it does happen. So if you end up with a model and you download it and that sort of thing, hidden stuff is the first thing to look at. And those are the two ways to do it uh, under view and check hidden geometry, hidden objects, and then also check your tags. All right, so I got one more. This one, this one's a little, this one's a little harder. This one's a little more tricky. Um, I was kind of thinking, how do I make this into a, a test, a quiz for somebody? How do we find this? Um, if I come in here, you see, I don't have any more tags that are that are off. Uh, I only have my main tag and then this, this tag with nothing on it at this point. In fact, I can even come here just to prove this. Nothing up my sleeve. If I delete that tag, it just goes away. Just going away means there's nothing on it and there's nothing else that, that's hidden there. So what I did in this one is if I show my hidden geometry now, still nothing, view hidden objects. Oh, hidden object shows me that there is a section cut in here. Um, section cuts can be hidden easy enough because you can actually right click on them and hide them. So they're pretty easy to hide, they're pretty easy to get rid of. They do show up when I go into hidden objects, so that's kind of nice. But what's it doing? What's it actually, why is it causing my bounding box to go out here if the section cuts here? Well, the section cut is currently active, so it's cutting part of my geometry off. If I grab this section cut and I roll it back here, see what I got, that was like a magic trick, was actually a second cylinder in here that was hidden by this section cut. So this section cut was cut in here. That section cut was then right clicked and hidden. So let's go back to turning hidden geometry off. It was hidden and then that's why we get that long because the other cylinders right up here against the edge but I can't see the geometry. So this is an issue that comes up because section cuts themselves are hidden objects. The geometry that a section cut cuts off is not a hidden object. It is, I don't know what the term is, it's section cutted geometry. So the fact that a section cut is chopping that off means I can't just toggle that back on with a view option or an eyeball over here in tags. To get that back, I would have to open up the group, get my section cut back on, and then maybe delete, erase this, that'll bring this geometry back. And then if I need it, obviously it's there. If I don't need it, I could always just come in here, select that cylinder, delete it, and then I'm back to that geometry. Turn my in geometry off at that point, get my cylinders looking nice. And there we go. So now we have one, two, three, four beautiful looking uh, containers. Those bonding boxes line up right with the most outside geometry. And that's what it should look like with no extraneous bounding box out there. Um, this was one that came up. Uh, I, I can't remember if it was a comment on a video or if it was a comment on a live stream, but somebody talked about this, about how, how they get confused about what size the bounding box is versus the geometry. Um, it's always bigger. I don't know if, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a model. If you have a, if you have geometry that's selected and the bounding box is somehow smaller than the bounding box, that's, that's something worth submitting because that shouldn't be happening. I've never seen that happen before. Generally speaking, it is a box that is significantly larger or stretches out away from the geometry sometime. And like I said, it usually, it almost always comes down to some sort of geometry. Something's hidden. Something is, 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 turned off, something like that. Um, I said only once have I actually seen a section cut that caused that, but it made sense pretty quickly once I understood what was going on. Uh, let me know if you've ever run into any of those. Leave in the comment down below if that's happened to you and how you found it. How did you end up tracking it down? 
If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, do leave us a comment down below. Like I said, if, if you've run into this before, tell us about it. If you have another case, if there's something else, a different way that the bounding box got huge, let me know about that too. Most importantly though, leave us a comment of things that you think would make good videos. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when it's showing something you wanna see. Thank you.